Welcome back everyone. Uh, update on the uh, mono, hill, mono hull build that I've had going on through this winter. Um, today I received, I'd say probably the most important part of this build. Um, waited for it for about three weeks. It came from Australia and uh, pretty excited. So let's get to it. It's a box. That has to be the oldest joke on these unboxing videos. Oh look, I have a box. Anyway, um, I've already cut the tape. I was going to open it and then I'm like, wait a minute. I should do a little unboxing video on this because of uh, it's just gonna be cool. I've seen these things. Uh, I've seen these things on YouTube. Um, and I just don't think, I think in person, it just isn't, it doesn't do it justice seeing it online. I think, uh, in person it's going to be cool to see it. Um, definitely going to be something cool to see. So, right, box is open. <clears throat> Looks as though, got a little, oh nice. And this is the company I bought it from, by the way, out of Australia, like I said. Um, RC Boat Bits. Actually, the reason I bought it from them is because I couldn't f really find it anywhere else. Um, pretty much everybody was sold out. And it just, I don't think it's something that many people stock. So, I'm not going to go over this. This is just my receipt, most likely. I'm not going to show any information on that. Alright. Let's look. See what we got. Packaged it well by the looks of it. It's uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, bubble wrapped good. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me again. Uh, definitely wrapped it well by the looks of it. So I'm not too concerned about damage. Box looks good. So there we have it. Speed controller. This is uh. Up to 12S, this speed controller will handle this specific one. Swordfish Pro 2, 240 amp. Monster. So let's take a peek. Oh, you come with a disc. Hmm. So far, I like the boxing. Uh, well packaged, uh, nice, aesthetically pleasing looking box. Have to pop that in, see what that's all about. Just look at that freaking thing. It's massive. <laughs> okay, I'll have to look over this once I get it done. Drooling over it here in a minute. Seems to be the do's and don'ts instructions by the looks of it. Oh my god, this thing is just gigantic. I'm gonna set this down just for a second here. Pull this out. Get out of there. Man, get this thing packaged in there tight. There we go. Wow, look at this beast. Here we have it. <laughs> Almost like holding a lipo pack. Wow. This is going to be awesome looking in that boat. I mean, just look at the gauge of these wires. Massive. Jeez. That is one beast of an ESC. Wow. Biggest one I've ever held in my hand. So. 
Looks to be in good condition. It's all waterproof. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to get the one that had the internal data logger, but that one was, I just couldn't find it. <laughs> Nowhere, anywhere. I looked all over the internet. Um, nobody seemed to have them in stock. So, this is the one I went with. It's just the plain Jane one. Uh, the way I see it basically is if I need a data logger, I'll just go with a, um, oh, what are they called? I can't remember now, but there's an external data logger I can get for this. And I think that's probably what I'll do. So, fantastic looking ESC. I'm super excited to have it here. Um, it is just insane how big this thing is. So, I even got a mount for it. Um, carbon fiber mount that I bought. It's specifically for this, well, for the Swordfish ESCs. So, I just have to fasten that to the bottom of my hull. And, uh, so I'll be using that. Nice carbon fiber plate. Um, now that I've shown you that, I'll show you a few other things that I've picked up lately for this build. Um, it's coming along. Uh, I think the only real thing that I need to get still is my... I still need to get my lipos and some linkage. And I know I'm leaving out a few things, but... Um, You'll see it as I go. I'll have a few more videos on it before I run, probably, um, as I assemble everything. This is actually the programmer box that I, for this ESC. Pick that up so I can easily tune it to uh, the specs that I need. Um, went with the MR200 receiver. Um, a buddy of mine has one of the had one of these in his boat, and uh, the range is great. He was able to go forever and a day away from us and never lost signal. So I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> these are the for this connection here. These connections here to the motor, um, eight millimeter Castle Creation bullet connectors. Got that. These are for the LiPo to ESC connection, uh, 6.5 millimeter castle uh, connectors, two packs of them. And uh, what else? I got my flex cable with drive dog and bullet nut. Obviously it needs to be trimmed still. And the sad part is, is I'll probably only be using about mm, that much of it. <laughs> so I'll have a lot of just leftover uh, cable that I won't really be able to use. But this is the shortest length I could get. And um, so there's that. Uh, and the putty, or the epoxy that I'm using, uh, West Systems G-Flex Thickened Epoxy. I'm going to be using this in conjunction with my milled fiberglass for the motor mount. Um, still up in the air on if I'm going to use it for the battery tray and the ESC tray. I'm not 100% on that yet. I've been looking actually at a uh, <clears throat> high strength silicone or like aquarium silicone for those, those two. Uh, those two bonds, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still deciding. I don't know. It's kind of a touch and go thing. This is all new to me, and I'm just, I've done a lot of online research on stuff that I need. So, <clears throat> and I believe that's everything recently that I've gotten. All of this stuff is, uh, you know, epoxy brushes, mixer sticks. That's the servo I'm using for my steering which I've already covered in a previous video. So basically, the biggest reason I did this video was for this bad boy right here. So 
wanted everybody to see this monster in person. Another thing I do need to get is a BEC. Um, I want to have that for this. <clears throat> I don't think I want to run an external pack to power everything, but I think I'm going to go with a BEC. So everything's all pre tinned by the looks of it. Wires, cooling tubes right there. Can't get over the size of that thing. It's huge. So I shouldn't have any issues with heating up my uh, speed controller. That's for sure. I think this thing will handle six to eight S uh, comfortably. <laughs> so I just need to make sure I get the rest of my power set up in line and should be good to go. Uh, once again, appreciate anybody uh, watching, views, likes. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos down the road. There's definitely going to be more as I install all of this stuff. Um, if you haven't seen my earlier videos, this is the boat. It's all going in. Which is coming along nicely, looking good. Um, I think I've come up with a name for this project. Uh, I'm going to call it Project JD. Um, take from that what you will. JD just so happens to be my favorite uh, alcohol, so that's the name I'm going for. Um, I thought about doing some Jack Daniels uh, lettering on the boat. Uh, I don't know yet, though, what I'm doing, really. I got some graphics in mind. Um, side note, I just trimmed this rudder down not too long ago because it was like, oh, jeez, I don't know, probably that long massive rudder it needed to be trimmed down so I, I took that down a little bit and also if you haven't seen the earlier videos that's my power plant the 1527 1250 kv uh new newcastle uh, eight millimeter shaft beast of a motor so that thing will be sucking a lot of amps so that's why i i went with the uh big ESC there so and also I, I'm spinning a pretty large pretty large prop but uh, I've been told online that I should be able to turn this no problem this is actually a what is it X uh, let's see X 455 so big prop sharpened ready to go Got my stuffing tube, still got to bend that up. Um, so all the hard stuff is still ahead as far as assembly. But um, probably not going to film a lot of that because I need to be able to concentrate when I'm working on it. But uh, like I said, keep an eye out on my video on my channel. There will be more videos to come. And as always, I appreciate the view.